Maybe they're friendly. Oh, they are friendly. Yeah, maybe they came to celebrate Christmas with us. Uh, you guys, I feel a little weird. Oh! This is very high. Oh man, what are we gonna do? They're ruining Christmas. They're taking everybody. Oh man, I don't want to be probed. Calm down, everybody. We have to come up with a plan. We, we have to. What's that? What is that? It, is that? The KSB Task Force. Honor, dignity, respect. Join the millions of people who have vowed to defend our planet against the evils that lurk in space. Join now. Citizenship guaranteed. For honor, for glory, for Kerbin. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this will be the last video that I make uh, for a while, but it's Christmas. So I told you all that I was going to make a Christmas video, and this is it. This is going to be the downloadable craft. I'm going to download it on, what was it, Kerbal X, and uh, so you can have a little Christmas present for, uh, from me to you. Now this is the AMP001, the Amplified Mobility Platform. Basically it is a replica of the body armor, or body armor, excuse me, the power armor that uh, was in Avatar. Not Avatar, the bald-headed kid, but Avatar, the big blue aliens. Now, of course, it has a <laughs> little bit of a KSP attached to it, meaning it can fly. It, you know, wouldn't be, wouldn't be KSP if it couldn't fly. But let's go ahead and uh, jump right in. It's very easy to, well, I say easy, but it's fun. It's fun. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so a little over 100 parts. Not too much, but that's alright. Uh, basically, it's just like a figurine. Everything is meant for show, but it's meant to have fun. So I figured I'd give you a little Christmas present for Christmas in KSP. Now let's go ahead and uh, show you how to work this thing. There are several things you need to learn first. Is of course... Um, being able to get in and out of your mech or body armor or body suit or amplified mobility platform. Uh, man, look how small he is compared to it. If you think about it, that platform maybe it's about human size, give or take. <laughs> okay, just walk underneath, reboard. Of course, uh, I wouldn't want to fight it. Even if I saw a little Kerbal guy in there, I wouldn't want to fight this thing. It's probably way stronger than. Well, it is way stronger than any human being. Uh, okay, so we got our jetpack on here. We also have our little RTG in the back, uh, kind of for easy accessing, swapping in and out. So you can imagine a little crew down here. Maybe a little bit on the goofy side, sort of like it poops radioactive material, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and uh, first lesson is getting back up when you fall down. So let's go ahead and fall down. Okay. Pretty simple. You fell down, right? Well, simply keep on going. And... You're right back up. Now, this thing doesn't need SAS in order to stand up. It's all by itself. It can do it by itself. Uh, when you start moving around, however, it's a little unstable, so SAS is recommended. SAS. Now, in order to walk forward, hit the AQDE. A Q D E. You're gonna have to practice because it does take a little bit of uh, does take a little bit of practice. So here we go. 
Now the reason why we hit A, Q, D, E is because if you hit A and D, you just kind of spin in one place. So you need to lift up your leg and start walking. Uh, like so. I mean, it's not perfect. But, you know, it's pretty cool if you uh, want to, you know, just kind of walk over to a spot. If it was real, if there was actual joints and whatnot, this thing would be just as maneuverable as one of those bad boys over there at uh, in the movie Avatar. One of those AM, um, Amplified Mobile Platform, yeah, AMP. Alright, so, now we got that. Let's go ahead and fly it. This, of course, is not the most graceful flying machine. But that's why we have a parachute to help everybody land safely. Ish. Now it's going to want to push you forward. This is good if you want to get somewhere quickly on the ground. But you want to hit the S key. Just kind of prop yourself up. You're a little bit heavy on one side, so just be aware of that when you're flying. You're going to have to hit the Q key a couple of times. Okay, now I'm going to go to about a little bit of one-third power. I mean, it's pretty accurate. It's not perfect, but it's pretty accurate. Alright. So I want to go ahead and land on that building right there. I just kind of aim... I've got where I want, so I'll hit parachute. Please don't blow up. <sighs> Let's try that again. Alright, take two. About half power. Maybe a little bit more. Alright, cool. So we're on the building. Obviously, um, in this instance, you're going to need your engines, the parachutes, just to help you stabilize a little bit more. So just remember how we. Whoa, come on, come on. Act's kind of weird, okay. Just remember how we walk. Uh, a Q D E A Q D E. So we can just kind of walk around, kind of do our own thing, and be all happy. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the uh, night and hit the U key. Okay, so we've got our lights. And of course, we got a little red cockpit lights going on there. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> Even better. Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, I mean, uh, it's not it's not an SSTO, it's definitely not going to conquer the world anytime soon, but, you know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a figurine, if you, uh, a little, a little something to play with in the game that I made for everybody. So I hope everyone enjoys. Like I said before, I'm going to go dark for a while, and uh, do some soul searching, do some, uh, do some Duna 1 finishing and uh, all that jazz so Merry Christmas everyone thank you so much for being a part of this channel and thank you so much for being part of my life I appreciate it greatly and I'll see you all sometime next year I am Veos Merry Christmas and have a good night <laughs> oh yeah he's the man now let's see if I can back up without falling down. Yeah, screw it, which is gonna fall backwards. Some ninja reflexes there, there we go. Yeah! King of the hill, baby! King of the hill. Good night, everybody.